Well, uh, hello there and good afternoon to you all. Uh, so, uh, this now will be my review for Bleach 586 uh, entitled Bla The Headless Star 5. So, okay, in terms of uh, naming chapters. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, um, this chapter on the overall, it kind of how to to put it. Uh, it kind of give me the feeling of, in a way, uh, bluntly. I kind of feel a little trolled by Kubo. Uh, I, uh, I'm not saying that I did not enjoy the chapter. Uh, I do enjoy the chapter. Again, this, the chapter kind of feel uh, rather short, I must say. I read it in one minute and a half, two minutes. So it's kind of it's it was very quick. Uh, and okay, we let's say we have two three points that for me are kind of interesting. Um, the first one is related with Basby that we actually see her wep his weapon and basically the weapon of Basby's is kinda a crossbow um, initially when the image appeared when he is ready to shoot to the ground it kinda appears as a pistol but then it's kinda revealed that he's a crossbow Okay, um, then uh, other aspect that I like this is that uh, uh, Lil Toto apparently she kind of has some command ability apparently because she is the one that says to all the others that okay let's solve this quickly and let's go for standing so it's kind of interesting how Lil Toto, uh, the Stern Reader G, kind of takes, let's say, command of the group. It's kind of um, interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, I don't know exactly what Kubo is planning with this character. But uh, he kind of he was giving us hints about her being called headed, being planning, being saying this, saying that, um, kind of giving orders. And again, he kind of reinforces this idea in this chapter. So could this mean that this girl, Lil Toto, has? kind of sort of command ability to let other stern readers I don't know but it's interesting it kind of adds some character depth to her so uh, even if their her power is mm, way way weird beyond weird so okay but it's interesting to see that she kind of has the capacity or the ability or she was granted let's say speculating a bit uh, can she order all these turn readers around uh, is because she is the G and from the all turn readers present she is the higher ranking Stern Reader around. Um, I don't know. 
uh, then we kind of go to uh, we see the Shinigami kind of fighting back we see Ikako attacking Besby uh, because I think it's Ikako that breaks the attack of Besby so and then uh, it, it appears that his crossbow is kind of destroyed by Rukia so uh, okay we see kind of the beginning of the battle and then we see all the stern readers going full standing and advancing against the shinigami uh, and then we see ishigo ishigo reaches near the position of yawak and uh, basically ashwald intended to fight against him but then he was kind of interrupted or surprised by Ishida kind of stepping in and something weird happened because he kind of attacks Ishigo that was not weird the weird part is after near the end of the chapter and then basically Ishigo is kind of protected by the the shield of Orihime and Shed that we see appearing from a Garganta when I did see the Garganta I was thinking, yes, finally Grimjaw, but no, it's only Shad and or Ime. But okay, um, now the the numbers in the battle kind of match because we have six Shinigami. If we add Shad and or Ime to the battle, it's eight versus eight. So okay then, if that's the way that Kubo intends to go, okay by me. And then the weird part is when. Uh, Yawa kind of speaks with Uryu saying that he asking him if he kind of say his goodbyes because he will not have other chance and such and uh, all the whole conversation between Yawa and Ishida is kind of mm, something is not right I don't know exactly what uh, but some I don't know something it's not right and then eventually we see that basically Yawak, Uryu and Ashwald basically go up to the Royal Palace and that's the end of the chapter um, so like I did say in the beginning I kind of feel a little bit trolled by Kubo because he kind of he had several teasers in this chapter uh, he kind of gave the hint for the beginning of the battle between the Stern Ritters and the Shinigami, but, and then he kept the scene. He made the Orihime and Shed appearing, and then he cut the scene. And then he kind of <laughs> put Uryu f uh, shot shooting, trying to shoot uh, Ishigo and he kind of cut the scene even if Ishi Ishigo was protected by Orihime and then uh, Uryu, Yawak and Ashwal poof disappeared to the royal palace so uh, the old chapter I kind of feel a little troll too much in a way by Kubo so I don't know uh, as for next chapter, I don't know, I, I, I don't really know, uh, I guess we will not see the, I will not, be, I do not believe that Yava, Kuryu and Ashwal reach the Royal Palace right now in the next chapter, I don't think that will happen. Uh, the question that remains is that uh, will Ishigo try to go up to the royal palace and by that uh, could this mean that he will need to go to the Shivas and to Kukaku and try going up via cannonball that could happen um, Mm, but I guess that the most likely scenario to happen I hope so that we will see the fights uh, between the Stern Raiders and the Shinigami and I guess also against Chad and Orihime that arrived 
maybe uh, I hope that's it uh, probably that will happen I, I don't know I exactly don't know uh, so really not much is need to be said about this chapter it kind of felt like a real trolling art on uh, on part of the Kubo on the reader even if he kind of gave uh, some sinks uh, that we need to kind of sink especially the situation with Stern Ritter G, uh, G and uh, could this mean that she kind of gave him the orders kind of coordinating the attack or kind of gave him the or gave, giving the order to attack could this mean that between all the Stern Ritters that, that are present she is the high, high ranking of them and so she can order the others around um, I don't know but probably that's that could be uh, that could be so I don't know we will have to wait for next week and see uh, what the Kubu is planning even if he kind of says that ah on the next chapter we will uh, you will reveal um, what Yawak intend but if the title means that uh, in a chapter Yawak reached the royal palace it's kind of weird but okay then I don't know I don't know I seriously, I seriously don't know so that's it this is my bleach review for chapter 586 so i hope you enjoy stay well peace and see you soon